I never really know how to start my videos, so let's just say this is the start. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Today I am really excited about this video because it's gonna be a really chill video. It's gonna be a video where I talk to you as like a friend. I need to update you on what's go what's been going on in my life, on my fitness journey, and what's been up with my health. I know I shared it on Instagram in French. A lot of you didn't really understand, so... I'm gonna try to kind of explain everything that happened over the past few months. So it's kind of like an update for those of you who've been following me for a while. Or if you're new here, I think this video will help people that have been feeling exactly like me. You've been like really into exercise for a while and then you've been completely disconnected from yourself and you felt like you hadn't you didn't have the energy to work out anymore and you felt really tired, maybe that video will help you because I'm gonna tell you what happened. It's really hard for me to share things as I go through them um, because I always like to reflect it and keep it kind of for myself and just trying to get better by myself because I'm always scared of like sharing something not good will influence you and I never want to share something that's not like uplifting or I don't know like I always feel like the energy that you put out is the energy that you're gonna get and so I don't want to you know like talk about so much of how I'm not feeling good because I just feel like I'm gonna stay in that circle and I'm gonna stay in that energy but also I know that it's not fair for me to just talk about when I'm going well. Now that everything is past, I can really talk about it more openly and I'm sorry that I haven't really been opened about it, but that's just how I go through things. So to kind of explain what happened really, I think I need to rewind a few years ago. I started working out for confidence issues. I was feeling really bad in my body. Yeah, my body image just affected me so much that I lost all confidence that I had. I never cared about the way I looked until at some point, um, I talked about it in my book, but yeah, so that's the reason why I started working out basically just to lose weight and feel more strong Also in my mind. I was like if I look stronger because I'm short I'll make people respect me more and I know it's so bad to think of the way I look for others But I still think to some extent that it, it is true the way you project yourself It comes from of course your lifestyle, but yeah that's just another topic. <laughs> but so yeah, I started working out and I was really into it. I loved it. Uh, obviously, like after I lost weight that I didn't want anymore, I just kept going because it just made me feel so good. And yeah, I just loved it. I really loved working out, going to the gym. But I'm not gonna go through my fitness journey today. But yeah, that's just to understand where I'm coming from. So then I started doing yoga and I started not going to the gym anymore. So I did more yoga and a little bit less training, but I still had some fitness in my life and everything was going well. Like I was living in Paris and I was working more, um, but I guess I was just keeping the routine of like eating healthy, working out maybe five times a week, four times a week, just being like healthy um, and happy. Uh, <laughs> And then what happened? 2019 or maybe even like just a little bit before in 2018 but I can't like I don't have a date that started it like I don't I don't recall anything happening to me for it to start but what happened basically is that I was lacking the drive and not only to work out, but also to work. I am rather like ambitious, ambitious person. Like I have a lot of motivation and I have like discipline and I, if I want something, I do it. And that's my nature. And I just felt like completely off. Like I just didn't recognize myself anymore. I was having really trouble to focus on my work. Um, and I had a lot of projects that I wanted to do in 2019 and 80% of them I couldn't do them because I just didn't have the energy and I felt so anxious as well because obviously like working for myself it's important to work if I don't work I don't make money and I don't live so it made me really stressed because I felt like I needed to do so much and I just couldn't do it anymore I just don't know what happened to me like <laughs> this really gets me emotional but yeah, I just, yeah, I didn't understand what was going on. I wasn't feeling depressed and I wasn't feeling something was missing my life, a purpose was missing in my life because I had this issue in the past. I've been depressive in the past and 
yeah, this is completely different. So this wasn't depression. Yeah, I was happy, but I was just slower and not full of life anymore. Let's just say it this way. I know what you're gonna say if you follow me that I have been actually running and training a lot during January until April. And you're right, I've been training and running a lot because if you don't know, I ran the marathon this year. It was my first marathon. It was like a goal that I had in life. So I did train for it and I did run a lot and I'd done a whole video about my training. For me, it wasn't requiring a lot of energy because everything was planned and that was kind of it. Like I wanted to run a marathon so that was kind of what I needed to do. It was more really integrated in my life, like eating or drinking every day. That's just how it is. Like, that's how I view it. So yeah, like I, I train because I've put myself this goal of running marathon. And even when I didn't really have the energy, I just had this little pull of going out for a run because that was in my training plan. And outside of working out and all, like as I said, I was very tired and I didn't have the energy to do anything else. Obviously like I've worked a little bit, I've done like a few things for my blog and I've taught yoga, of course, like I haven't been, you know, under my blanket for all this year. The hardest phase of the year for me was from May, June until September, um, where I felt like some like everything was going out of my body i was constantly napping i really really was struggling to focus on my work to do things i just really did anything that was necessary to do and i didn't have energy to do anything else so of course i didn't work out pretty much at all maybe like one or two times during that period of time which is nothing and same for my yoga practice. I completely stopped like my yoga practice because I just didn't have the energy. How crazy is that? I was teaching yoga, but I didn't have the energy to practice for myself. I noticed that my skin was getting really bad. A lot of pimples on the shin, which are hormonal things. My appetite was very weird. During that time, like I always ate healthfully, but I noticed that I was craving not sweets, but more like chocolate and fatty things a lot. Um, and I was just hungry all the time. I was eating until I was satisfied, but it never felt like I was fully nourished despite eating really healthily. And I wasn't exercising it. So obviously, and this is like a side effect of it, when you exercise way less and you eat way more, well, you gain weight, like that's just how it is. So over the summer I gained weight and it is not affecting me as much as like it used to be in the past and I don't really focus so much on weight. And by saying weight, I mean fat, like I don't say weight because I know that weight isn't really a good measure. But yeah, I, it's not that I care so much. I know that I feel the best when I look fit and when I look strong because I feel strong. It's not always true actually because when I did train for the marathon, I looked super lean and inside I wasn't feeling strong. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's maybe not true all the time, but I just didn't feel my best anymore. Like I gained weight, I just didn't really love the way I look. Yeah, I lost my confidence. That circle, it's really hard to get out of it. So you're kind of like, yeah, what's the point of even trying because I know that I will fail. I had the motivation to work out, but I just didn't have the energy. So I was like, yeah, like, am I gonna stay like this all the time? Like, is it the new me? Is it just that I did way too much in the past and now my body's like, yeah, that's actually not what you're supposed to do. I don't know, like I just asked myself so many questions. So I spent the whole summer like just not good feeling good. And then in September, I decided to do a little check on my health because I was like, yeah, what's going on, you know? And so we found out that my hormones were off, my digestion was off, my liver was like super full of toxins, pollution, heavy metals. Kind of just explained everything. My assimilation of nutrients was off. So I started a vitamin cure for that. Uh, which I started in September, now we're in November, it's almost over and I feel like so much better already. The hormonal problems were explaining why I felt so tired. 
and all the acne problems that I had and my digestion just explained how I wasn't able to feel nourished by the food that I was eating for my hormones I would guess that it's basically stress the anxiety that I experienced this year today I feel like much better on my stress but I have some days where I'm still stressed and I'm trying my best to meditate daily I would say since two weeks maybe not even I feel like I have my energy back again and I feel way more like myself again and it felt so good when I felt this way because I was like wow like finally I get to be myself again yeah so that's where I am today I have the energy that I used to have and I have the focus that I used to have before in terms of my fitness routine at the moment I'm really not strict with myself because I don't want to do anything that's too crazy um, obviously I would love to like get back to like a four or five times a week of training and like having like a little routine of working out resistance and running and like yoga and all that but most importantly like I have the focus to work and yeah I haven't felt this way for months so it just feels amazing honestly in terms of my diet and my appetite so as I told you I had like a such a big appetite and I felt like I I lost my natural hunger level so my stomach probably like increased in size and I kind of yeah I lost this intuitive eating that I had so I have stopped intuitive eating to me intuitive eating is like the healthiest way to eat but in order to intuitive eating healthfully I do believe that you need to be in a very good health place and because my hormones were off and my hunger cue or hormones were off that's not where I was so I didn't really know anymore how much I was really supposed to eat to help me do that I started tracking what I ate so I'm kind of like watching this to just get back into a regular more intuitive eating style in a couple of weeks hopefully but yeah I've been using an app and next week I'm gonna do a what I eat in a day just to show you what I've been eating on this like journey to be healthy again and just um, help me lose weight too so yeah I'll share that next week I've also made some changes to my vegan diet and I think I'll do a really dedicated video to that my focus now is really not about the way I look like I don't I don't even care about abs or butts or things like that i do want to build muscle because i want to get stronger and obviously when i get stronger i look stronger and i feel more confident but that's just like a, an effect of it but honestly i just want to train because i love it and it makes me feel strong and yeah i don't have any focus on like looking a particular way if you are wondering like what my fitness goals are yeah i just want to be that athletic person again so now you're all updated about my fitness life and health journey and all that i'm really excited about what's to come i think 2020 is going to be a much better year i mean i, I hope so and uh yeah i can't wait to share more things with you i honestly really appreciate what happened to me because it teaches you a lot when you can't work out or you can't you know be like you were before appreciate your health when you have it way more so yeah i'm grateful that i had ex this experience but i'm also really really happy that i'm out of it it took me months and even when i you know thought I was out of it I really wasn't really out of it and I'm glad that I gave myself some time and I didn't force things and I didn't force any workout um, when I was exhausted and when I couldn't so yeah thank you so much for listening and I hope to see you next week on my channel for my what I eat in a day and yeah if you have any like questions or any other things that you want to say or say hi or say happy birthday to me then Leave it in a comment below. Hope you like this video and I will see you real soon. Mm -hmm.